Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We have more mystery booster boxes. And really, I need something sharper to cut this in with. The first one that I have opened is right here. And hopefully, there we go. Just had to bend it a little bit. Hopefully, I can get it open. So, if you're looking to support the channel, please just continue to watch the mystery series. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help to get our name out there. There's also a couple links in the description. One is to become a patron of the channel, patreon.com slash booster therapy. And the other one is our TCG player link. If you're already shopping for cards, like some of the wonderful cards and the mystery boosters, please think about clicking that link before the purchase. It really does help us out and it's a pretty easy click. It's just in the description. Without further ado, let's see what kind of packs we will crack. So we have to take a little bit more time because there is a chance that you'll hit something pretty decent in the uncommon slots. Rampant growth. Always happy about rampant growth. Obelisk spider. A fountain of renewal. Put that on camera right there. Oh, the bear cub. Look at that little bear. It's worth a couple bucks. Mystic Confluence for our first rare. That's excellent. And the Bramblewood Paragon. That artwork looks stunning. Boy, do I miss a lower one block. And we're gonna try to count out how many mythics we hit in this. I feel like I've seen some monster boxes where it's like 12 mythics in a box, we're gonna see if we can do the same. That would be exciting. Can we get 12 Mythics? Corpse Jack, Orzov Basilica, Pelbs Portal, Belbies, Belby. Eldrazi is my creature type. The Felidar Sovereign, there's a nasty card when it comes to Commander. And the Greater Moss Dog with that dredge mechanic. How many of you guys have gotten to draft the set? Curious how that's going. Are you having fun or has it just been too tough to draft because everything going on in the world right now with COVID-19? Which I would completely understand. Just trying to stay healthy and stay inside. That is why Pat and I have dedicated a video a day until we get past this kind of awful thing. Yargle. I always love to see some Dominaria cards. Mind Wrench. Bomber Cores. Smash to Smithereens. It's a pretty solid card. Put that in our solid common pile. Harmonize. Cathari Remnant. It's got Cascade. The, bot, the Blinding Soul Eater. Hey, our first mythic is the Cargan Dragon Lord. I do love those level up cards. Mamma mia, that's a spicy <laughs> meatball. What a mana crypt. Two mythics in one pack and a grand architect. Oh man, what a pack. I'll put that in the rare pile. So we've got two Mythics in two packs, right? Have I only opened two packs? That's intense. Wow, well, we got the Mythic we've all been looking for right out the gate. And it's a Mana Crypt. Capture Sphere. Borrowing 100,000 arrows. Ward Eye Witch. Gifted Aetherborn. This guy's coming back up in price too because of Pioneer. It's good for those mono black devotion decks. Hopefully, I don't miss any of those higher-end common-uncommon slot cards. I think I've got a pretty good grasp on it, but, you know, we make mistakes. Doom Gape. Love this artwork. To this day, this is one of my favorites. Whoop. And then the Precursor Golem. And Rocks. There's a classic. Rocks. You know what I never understood is how this guy wasn't a legendary. He just, he feels like he stands on his own and that is his name. Either way, 
kind of like a thorn elemental with regenerate which they don't ever print anymore why no more regenerate we could use some regenerate hey treasure mage there's one of those solid ones might not be worth a ton but they're just super useful you know i'll say the print run so when i opened up the convention edition ones the print run i'm going to be honest felt a little flimsy these feel 10 times better so if you haven't gotten to open it yet it's worth a pack like these the print quality is way 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 better on the retail edition which is awesome i think they took some feedback and probably put a little extra effort into who is printing this that when you print so much of a product you probably want to do it right putrefy that great artwork boy does that look haunting the benthic infiltrator shrouded lore for our pre-2015 not sure what shrouded lore is worth that is pretty good Woo liliana death's majesty for mythic and an iron mirror that's a great foil looks like you got oh maybe that's just picking up on the camera that way or how it was cut on the sheet but iron mirror is really good for your mana ramp especially in mono red decks i often use an iron mirror two mana ramp in a color for commander that doesn't have uh green in it is you know you always want to take it contingency plan secrets of the golden city dismember there we go we'll just drop that one in the rare side that is real good typhoid rats the arc trail man this has got so much power for draft limited bomb after limited bomb this has to feel like a, just an awesome chaos draft elves of deep shadow this is another one of those just solid common cards rasheen meanderer look at that big happy giant yep that's your commander for uh what is it for hydra tribal right Spy Kit, Nemesis of Reason, Boros Reckoner. Man, I remember when this card was insane good. It's still a fun card. And the Gilder Baron. Look at that. The cutest magic, or the cutest artwork in magic. He's just in his little costume. And he has that wonderful untap mechanic, which was a pretty rare things thing thing uh commanders like mayor sill loves to abuse that resurrection encampment keeper that's actually a really cool art too i don't seem to remember that one from ixalan that is a beast of a dog though tandem lookout pretty solid card the grasping scoundrel no demonic tutor. I was thinking we would get it there. The artwork, I don't know why it fooled me. Giant Spectacle. Zada's Commando. Ooh, Secura. Tribe Elder. Another really good common. Put that off to the side. Kalani Heart Expedition. Pretty solid little mana ramp. Slave of Bolas. I do like this. You take a creature and you kill it. Put that off the side. Mindstone, another solid two mana, or yeah, two mana ramp spell. The Ancient Den, it's actually worth a couple bucks. Solid uncommon. Ooh, the Sliver Hive Lord. What is that? What is that? It's fourth mythic. Four mythics. And we got a wall of shards. Oh, that's rude. Cumulative upkeep. An opponent gains a life. So, how do you turn that on somebody? It is a snow creature, too. Hyena Umbra. Court Homunculus. See, where's his one eye, though? I see two eyes. I don't know, this is just a weird-looking guy. I want the one eye. Displace. Brainstorm. There we go. Another solid card. Instill Infection. Come on, where's our... I should speed this up a little bit. Pulling, going a little slow this is the first time i've opened the retail edition and this is this is fun uh, coiling oracle another solid common see so many playables mask of memory there's a good card 
Imperial Armor. That used to be a good card. All the way back from Weatherlight. Angel of Dire Hour. For rare. And the Treasonous Ogre. For our foil. Whoop. Dropping that in. What is the best foil? Is the best foil send triplets? I can't remember. Hopefully we see a send triplets. Isolation zone, emerge of the scave, the fog walker. Oh, we'll start going this way. We can go a little bit faster now. Until we find a card to stop them. Font of Mythos. Draw a couple cards. Debtor's Nell, I love this card. What a nice little ad. And the Spike Feeder. Look at that, the old school foiling. That looks good. Well, we're getting a lot of rares. And I mean, we got the best mythic. Hopefully we can get some more. Path to Exile? Nope, okay. That's right, we're gonna try to go a little bit faster with these. Stop when I catch a good card, if I remember that it's good. Eater of Days. This is how you give people extra turns. Alicia, who smiles at death, is a brutal commander. And the Paradox Haze. Foil. From Time Spiral. What a fun block. I think that's what made Modern Horizons feel so good, because it was very much on theme with that. Got Trinket Mage, pretty good. Gutter Snipe, pretty good. Again, just pulling aside those useful cards. Volunteer Reserves, just to throw some banding in there, huh? Thalia's Lancers. And we have a Lantern of Insight. Eyeballs out there. These packs, too, they are tightly wound. They feel a lot like the pre-release kit packs. They always feel like they're just a little bit stronger as far as... I'll tell you that. Athreos, God of Passage. Good Lord. All the good mythics in this set. Vigor, another really good rare. Jeepers. And the Lumen Thread Field. Field. Strange card. Vigor actually was just kind of dreaming up a really weird Gorm the Great and Virtus the Vile commander deck, and Vigor would be a smart ad, I think, for that one. Refuge? All right, we got Juicy Apprentice. Ha <laughs> ha, Jushy. Jushy? Flips into that legendary enchantment. Oh, Temple Mastery. Boy, do I love the shot of time walking with a card that's not banned. And Knowledge Pool, another really good card. Man, so many useful cards. I can't believe I was able to pre-order so many of these for like 90 bucks. Now what are they, like 160 to 200? I mean, I hate that the price has gone up, but if I'm honest, that feels like the right price. Like $200 doesn't feel that crazy for what's being pulled out of these. Viashino Sandstalker, I do love the Viashinos. Viashino, those are fun cards. Chasm Skulker, love the artwork on this guy. Just love, I'm hoping that Coria has a lot of fun, crazy beasts like that. And the Spellweaver Volute. Enchant instant card in a graveyard. Very weird. Oh, what else are we gonna get? We got the mana crypt. Let's just get a second mana crypt, right? That happens. We know it happens. We've seen it. Fatal push. There's a really good card. Put that off there. Lay the search your library for a basic land card. Put it in your hand. Okay. Oh, Palladium Mirror. That's a good one. Mirror? Mirror? Perforos, God of the Forge. Give us all the good gods. This is great. Now we'll just get a Thassa next and we'll be set. All is dust. There's a good one. 
And Bringer of the Black Dawn. Boy, do I love this card too. And it's in foil. Getting to Vampiric Tutor every turn feels good. Feels real good. So what are we at? We're at seven Mythics. We still have like, I don't know, six or seven packs left too? Something like that. Maybe even more. We have a lot of packs left for us to already be there. Cabal Therapy is in here too? Jeez. And Street Wraith? Both of those extremely good uncommons. Ooh, the Timber Watch Elf. Filigree. Poor Chant. Commit to Memory. That's an okay rare. And the Allosaurus Rider. I was just doing a vintage cube not too long ago. And this guy was brutal. He was so evil. Survive the night. Corrupt Conscience. I do love this card. Another really good uncommon. Stealing a creature and giving an effect is right up my alley. Collective Brutality. Another really good rare, especially for Pioneer. And the Game Trail Changeling. Look at that fake elk. What is he doing? Speaking of elk, I just got to see a bunch of them. I was at Estes Park. If you're not following us on Instagram, there's a bunch of pictures on there, especially if you want to know what I look like. And again, there's two of us. I am Brett, between Brett and Pat. But uh, you should check it out. Follow us on Instagram. It's booster.therapy is the account name if you are wanting to find us. Ronus's Monument. There's a good one. Hacken Stormgald Scourge. How much was this, too? Hacken was a ton of money before this reprint. Or am I wrong? I feel like this is a really high-cost card. This is a brutal knight if you're playing a knight's deck. Teferi, another mythic. And this is one of the best ones to have in your Super Friends deck if you can get him to ult real quick. And Gorilla Tactics. There's a good classic card. Boy, I remember playing this in those drafts. Is that core... 10, core set 10. Move the mythics up a little bit to make room for all the extras. What are we at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 mythics. I think we got 5 packs left counting this one. Let's get a couple more. Maybe a demonic tutor. Cursed Mentor. Agony Warp is a solid card. Sadistic Hypnotist. Really good sack outlet. Control your player's hands in the worst of ways. Mind Shatter. Another way to disrupt those hands. And the Noggle Bandit. Nog when will we see Noggles again? Noggles and Kithkin. I mean, it's it's the main reason we want to go back to Lorwyn, right? Because we want to see Noggles and Kithkin. They've been gone for so long. Boggart. Meteorite. Ooh, a lotus petal. There's another solid reprint. It's just so good. The lotus petal. Shamanic Revelation. That's a good draw spell. And Lapse of Certainty. It says counter target spell, and it's a white card. Rude. Oh, I said five. We had four. We had. I missed a pack. There's still three in the box outside of this one. So many good cards that we can still get. Monastery Swift Sphere. There's a good one. Swift Spear. Can't say words tonight. Baleful Strix. Another good uncommon. The Lock Hit. That's a weird one. Mist Form Shrieker. <laughs> That's actually a silly card. Uh, Hornet Nest. This used to be worth a ton of money. I think it's way down. It might have been more when it was standard legal, but I felt like that had to play. Wow, and a foil delay. It is worth a pretty penny. I'm sure it's down a lot now just with the reprinting, but that is a very good card. Man, for 24 packs, it sure feels like you're opening a lot more than that just because there are so many hits to be had. Sanger Vampire. You guys remember this card? Look at that. It's got the 
the random, what is it, pre-made pre kits, pre-release kit? Not pre-release kit, what is that? I don't know. It's like the free decks. Stagger Shack. Goreclaw Rampager. Crumbling Necropolis. These are always good. Tinker. Man, there's a great card. Ah, oh, second artifact. Get one into play. Yes, please. Eldritch Evolution. Kind of the same same deal. Sacking creatures. And a foil blasting station. Grum Gully's favorite tool. Two packs left. Can we get another mana crypt? Dark Steel Mutations in the uncommon slot? This is a great card. Man, I did not know that. I'd, I'd take that over the Path to Exile. It's just got more play or more use in Commander. Contagion Clasp, good uncommon. The Desolation Twin. And a Mind Funeral Foil. I love that artwork. Just a bunch of heads rolling into a bin. Last pack of the box. What will we get? This has been a great box. Or is every box just a great box? I don't know. Blue Elemental Blast. Just, the suspense is killing me. It's actually a really good land. Impending Disaster. Boy, this is one of my favorites. I love a good land destruction card. And we got a Mirren Crusader. And our final foil is Pull from Eternity. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Mythic Box with lots of rares and other goodies. What a box, man. This is, this is like one of the funnest sets I've ever opened. Until next time, we've got tons more of these boxes, so stay tuned. This is Booster Therapy. You all have a wonderful rest of your day.